We still have snow falling east of the Twin Ports. So here in Minnesota and here in the Twin Ports, I should say, we didn't see a whole lot of snowfall at all from the system as we are on the outside of the system. But we still have winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories into effect for the region. And those areas still go into effect until Monday afternoon for most areas in Wisconsin. But areas in the UP, those go until Tuesday morning, and that is due to some lake enhancement as well. And I'll get to that in just a minute. So right now we're looking at some snow reports for down in the city areas in Minneapolis, saw five and a half. A little bit further south, Inver Grove Heights, saw six, and Lake Vale, even more south, saw seven inches there. Now that system continued to push north and east, so it did miss Duluth. But this is what we saw so far. Ashland's at two inches, Phillips is at eight inches, and Hayward is at four inches. But you'll notice this system is a very large system, not only affecting us in the north. Uh, in the Midwest area, but if you go down to the south, you'll notice areas in the southern areas are dealing with severe weather. We did see many tornadoes pop up in the uh, Louisiana, Mississippi area throughout this afternoon, and unfortunately, they're going to be dealing with severe weather through tomorrow morning, and that is all associated with one low pressure system. Of course, that's bringing snow to our region due to the cooler temps. You'll notice right now, this is where the snowfall sits. Right over the South Shore area, they're seeing some light snowfall. The areas into Ironwood is my main concern. It's going to see a couple more inches still pile up, and that is also going to be due to some lake enhancement as we go through the day on Monday. Now, I'm saying lake enhancement because winds are going to shift as that system moves up. Winds are going to shift out of the north and west. Very breezy northwesterly winds, so Lake Superior comes into play for that area, and that's going to bring in some lake effect snowfall for all areas across either some South Shore areas and mostly in the UP, uh, the UP area. For us here in Duluth, we're going to see partly cloudy skies through the morning and then some sunshine by the afternoon, but it will be on the cooler side. Tuesday, we still remain chilly. We have a short wave that moves into the region, so that does bring in a few clouds for the afternoon. We'll see a mixture of sunshine, though, and a high of 35 as well. Beautiful weather continues for the seven-day forecast. We've got dry conditions in place as high pressure settles into the south, and we'll see mostly sunny skies and a high of 39 degrees. Now, temperatures will slowly start to rebound by the end of the seven-day forecast. So time it out for you here on the Futurecast. You'll notice by tomorrow, tonight into tomorrow morning, 4 o'clock Monday morning. This is where that system's still sitting directly over the Ironwood and the Gogebic area into Watersmeet, the Marquette area. They're going to still see snow even through Monday afternoon at noon. You still notice that snow showers, and that is also going to be due to lake effect snow. So I'm expecting this area right here to see another 5 to 6 more inches on top of what they already have right now. Clear skies for the Minnesota side, and that continues Monday night into Tuesday. That short wave moves in Tuesday afternoon. That brings in those clouds across the region. Snow moves out from the Minnesota Arrowhead, and we've got a beautiful day in store for Wednesday. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies for the Minnesota side. Temperatures in the teens up north, low 20s along Lake Superior. Winds very breezy out of the north. 10 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures in those low 20s for northern Wisconsin. Tomorrow, that snow moves out, so like I mentioned, Ironwood's still stealing some snow, but for the rest of us, we're going to be seeing some sunshine by the afternoon, but very, very breezy north winds, northwesterly winds by the afternoon. So it's going to feel a lot like winter tomorrow, especially here in the Minnesota side. 36 degrees, we got that 20% chance in the morning just as those clouds move out. Tuesday, another cooler day, even into Wednesday as we see temperatures drop back into the teens again. And uh, then finally we start to rebound, but... I mean, this entire seven day is a dry seven day I forecast. I was just gonna say and that. And <laughs> a ton of sunshine. You don't typically see seven days in a row. I know this is kind of nice to have just a dry seven day. It's a little cooler, but then mm -hmm. that weekend though. I know, 53, 52, mild conditions. You really can't go wrong. No. Awesome. Thanks, Caitlin. You're welcome.